Hi there and welcome to my second video on the subject of using um, a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, running Sonic Pi, as in this case as a sound source and also a running Light Show Pi um, to produce um, a light show from the audio that Sonic Pi is going to produce. Uh, this time, unlike in the previous video, I'm not using a breadboard of LEDs in order to uh, show the output, but I've actually hacked Light Show Pi and I'm going to use the LED array on the Pi Sense hat uh, as a much more compact and uh, pleasant way in which to display the output from this. So, what have we actually got here? We've got Sonic Pi running uh, perfectly as normal. It's just the standard 2.7 installation on the Jesse um, uh, OS that I've got installed here. And the sound output is set to uh, go from the built-in audio here. It's going to an audio spitter lead, one side of which then the green lead there is connected up to this amplifier so that we can actually hear what's going on. And the other one, which is connected down this lead here, is looped back into um, a USB audio card, which I've got plugged in here. And it's going into the microphone input of that. We're not using the audio output there. And that is connected via the USB interface into the Raspberry Pi. And that's where Light Show Pi is going to get its audio source in order to generate the light display. Now, in order to do this, the, there is one slight complication, and that is on uh, the Jesse installation, there is now a utility which is called Audio Device Settings, which is used to set the default audio card if you happen to have more than one. And uh, it's actually selected from the uh, menu up here. If you come down here to Preferences, it's on there, Audio Device Settings. And you can see that I've got this set. There are two cards in here. There's the built-in one, the BCM2835 um, card, and the USB card, which I've got here, which I've set to default. And that's so that we can actually get the microphone uh, input active there, and so that Light Show Pi will recognise this. That means that we have a problem, because Sonic Pi um, has, um, if I bring it to the front here, its own volume control in the Preferences section, and this will actually be inoperative because of the way I've got things set up as will the built-in um, volume control up here, because that's actually going to adjust the settings on the um, card which we're not using. You can see it actually, they go up in sympathy together. They're linked together there. Um, so that's not going to be much use to us either. So in fact, what I do, if I get rid of the preferences there again, is I run up in a second terminal window, a separate terminal window, ALSA mixer, and I've set that to the BCM 2835 card and we can use the um, an up and down arrow key on the keyboard in order to raise and lower the volume output level of Sonic Pi if necessary but in fact I wanted to be pretty high in this case to get a good output in order to drive the light show Pi show. So I've got a piece called Frenzied Samples that I've written uh, on here which is a pretty noisy one very percussive and quite good for a light show so let's start that running you can see it running there and you can actually hear it on the speakers and I can actually control the volume here if I want a lot more. I'll turn it down so you can hear what I'm saying. And in order to get the video to work a bit better, I'm going to put a bit of bubble wrap across the um, Sense Pi card because it lacked a bit of a diffuser and it'll actually help you to see a bit better what's going on. So the final thing to do is to come up to uh, another window which I've got down here windows all over the place and this one has got the command line pseudo python pi slash synchronized lights pi in order to start the light show running or the hacked version of it running that I've written. So let's uh, start that running and then we'll come down here and you can see the light show actually running there as driven by the sound from the pi which I'll turn up a bit more. actually set it up to produce a sort of rainbow strip on each of the lights, particularly where it seems to see any bit, no, it's not, not really showing up very well, but it's going from red at the bottom up to indigo, indigo at the top, all the colours of the rainbow. So there we have it, Night Show Pi succinct, um, compact version, um, running on the Sense Hat and driven by Sonic Pi. I'm never amazed, always amazed to find out just how much you can do with a Pi. It's really a fantastic machine and this has been great fun to do too. Hope you've enjoyed the show. i just fade that out. It'll still run because we've got the lead, the audio going through there. 
and then we'll just stop the video. Thanks for watching.